Okay, well we're we're back out here with the the LC Engineering crank scraper. I just kind of wanted to show how I'm going about this. So I, I just uh, put it on with some RTV black and uh, lightly cinched it down and put the oil tube in. Um, cranked it over with the ratchet. Let me grab it here and put it up there on the. So you can see kind of the clearance we're talking about and comes fairly close to the counterweights and what have you. Uh, they, they suggest you put it on, test fit it, and then make adjustments as necessary. There, there was one spot back here. I'm going to have to probably bend things down maybe a little bit or I'm not quite sure. Um, it was kind of making a little bit of contact there. But you can, you can kind of see the, the deal here. So I think it probably should do a pretty nice job of kind of peeling the oil off the counterweights and uh, the crankshaft as, as it's spinning around here. Um, like I say, I just have some black RTV kind of on it and I don't have it torqued down. I'm going to take these stainless uh, flange, 8mm flange nuts off here in a second. And then I've got my, my oil pan sitting kind of out there. And I'm going to put some RTV black and then get everything back together. But I want to kind of just show a little bit. So when it when it cranks around here, you can kind of see what's how close it comes to the, especially like right there. You can, you can see how close the clearance is there. And like I say earlier, it was actually hitting there a little bit. Yeah, right there you can see that was it hitting. Um, so. It's making a little bit of contact right there. I'm going to take a pry bar and bend that down a little bit. That seems to be the only spot where it's actually hitting, so they they might have just not been quite right on their radius there or something. But um, otherwise, it seems to be a real nice fit. You, you can kind of see right there. Uh, these parts uh, did not need any adjustment. Um, and then these uh, these little areas here seem to be, be good. So... Looks like I just need to make a slight, a, bend that down slightly. I'm going to get a tire iron to do it. Uh, over here, on this one, it seems to be okay. So, I'm not real concerned with it hitting, although, you know, uh, under high RPM and, and flexing and what have you. Probably, probably better if you don't have stuff hitting the crankshaft. So, anyways, it's going on, and... Um, We'll see how it does, but I just wanted to kind of show it in process. Like I say, I'm about to put RTV black, uh, ultra black, on the, the oil pan and then uh, put that on top of it here. Uh, with the with the RTV that's underneath this crank scraper, I just let it sit for about 20 minutes. Uh, in the instructions from LC Engineering, they recommend using ultra gray. Uh, ultra gray is real good in my experience uh, if you're going to be pulling your motor apart between races and what have you, but you know. If you're kind of like the rest of us where you, you don't want uh, any oil getting through for the next 100,000 miles. I personally prefer ultra black. Uh, it seems to be a little bit uh, a little bit better in my experience and, and the different tests that I've done. Uh, ultra gray is plenty good, but um, and, if you, and if you take things apart, it's easy to get it back off. Uh, with ultra black, it really locks in there. And, you know, if you take the oil pan back off, for example, you're going to have to probably bust out the wire wheel to get the ultra black off so uh but i always use ultra black so all right well i hope you've enjoyed the video any questions feel free to use the comment section below there thanks for watching